what you have seen are the swatches of the new Caroline Matte Liquid Lipsticks. These Caroline lipsticks were sent to me by Caroline themselves. So ay bago. Wala pa sila actually sa market as of filming. But according to them, this will be available by the end of July. But as usual, hindi naman magdedepende doon ang review ko. Alam nyo naman yun. So, actually, the whole lipstick line has 12 matte shades and then 4 melted metallic shades. The melted metallics also have matte finish. They sent me 9 of the mattes and 3 of the melted metallics. Before we start, explain ko muna sa inyo. Baka nagtataka kayo bakit iba itsura ko ngayon doon sa swatch video. Kasi yung sa swatches, I filmed it yesterday. But unfortunately, I wasn't able to finish the whole video including this review in one sitting. So, I'm filming another day. Ito yung kinabukasan. Kaya I, I have a different look right now. But I'm still wearing the Caroline Matte Lipstick. This is the shade The Wallflower. So, ito talaga yung pinili kong suotin dito sa review part. Kasi alam ko, maraming curious sa inyo. Makita ko ano yung itsura nito. Kasi this is not the typical uh, shade of lipstick that we usually wear, ba And even me, ngayon lang din ako nagsuot ng gray lipstick. And I think that it looks alright on me. <laughs> what do you guys think? Tell me in the comments down below. We start off as usual with the packaging. So, this guys... Here's the packaging, the box. It says here, Caroline Matte Liquid Lipstick. And then, pag inikot siya, it says there, Ultra Pigmented, Ultra Matte. The Caroline Matte Liquid Lipstick is a creamy liquid lipstick that glides on the lips and sets to a super comfy, super matte finish with major color payoff. And then, sa baba nun is yung ingredients, which... As usual, <laughs> I will also put in the description box below. So, always check the description box of all my videos. Kasi, lagi dun ko ilalagay yung mga hindi ko na nababanggit dito sa video. And then, when we flip on this side, name ng company. It is made in China. Net weight 5.5 ml. Stock number, batch number, manufacturing date. This one is April 2017. And it says here na ang shelf life niya is 24 months. It says paraben free. So that's nice, no? This is a lipstick that is paraben free. If you flip it on this side, it says there better than basic. So di ba kasi recently nag makeover yung buong brand ng Careline. So yung logo and also the tagline has changed. Ito na yung bagong tagline nila ngayon. Ang sabi nila better than basic. And then on this side, that is the shade name. Now we move on to the lipstick itself. So this is the packaging. It says the Caroline Matte Liquid Lipstick. And acrylic yung kanyang container and then the cap is silver. Dito meron siyang shade name. And then sa baba meron din yung shade name niya. Andun din yung ibang mga details. Yung expiry, manufacturing, net weight. So, maganda yun, no? Kasi, di ba, not all of us keeps the box. So, pag tinapon na natin yung box, nandito pa din yung info na important para sa atin. So, mapapansin nyo, very, 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 very similar yung packaging niya sa international brand na Colourpop. So, pag binuksan natin siya, ito ang doe foot applicator niya. And then, ang smell niya is, wala siyang masyadong smell. Very faint smell na normal na amoy ng lipstick. And then, ang napansin ko sa kanya, nagbabound siya pabalik kapag binalik mo na yung cap. So, pag tasara nyo na siya, maganda na i-screw nyo na agad. Huwag nyo na iiwan na ganun kasi baka bumalik yung applicator, lumabas siya. And then, mahulog. According to them, the price is 210 pesos each. So, affordable naman. Compared naman sa international brands, hamak na mas mura siya. And mas madaling hanapin. Kasi, halos lahat naman meron na <laughs> Everbelena and Careline. Nakikita ko sila. Siyempre, nasa mall sila. And then, nakikita ko pa sila sa groceries, sa drugstores, sa mga mercury drugs. Yes, meron. 
and then nakita ko pa sila sa 7-Eleven, meron din. Actually, ito yata ang makeup brand na pinakamadaling ma-access, very accessible sila. And sila din yung madalas ko ma-review na local brand nung nag-umpisa pa lang ako mag-vlog. Kasi nga, dito, for someone like me na nandito sa province, sila yung pinakamadaling mabili, makuha para sa akin. Sa application, sa consistency niya, this one is very liquidy. Tignan nyo. Yan. Ganyan siya. Very liquidy siya. Compared dun sa, kung familiar ka dun, kayo dun sa EB Advance LTD, yung limited liquid lipstick ng EB Advance, same company sila ni Caroline, di ba? Yung formal, formula nun is moussey. This one is more liquidy. So, mas madali siya mag-dry. Actually, sa first layer, pag nag-apply ako, pagkatapos ko mag-apply sa upper lip ko, ina-apply ko pa lang yung sa lower lip ko, tuyo na yung sa upper lip ko. So, ganun siya kabilis mag-dry. So, wala nang waiting time. And then, with the pigmentation, I was impressed kasi not streaky, which is very common sa mga light and dark shades. Hindi siya streaky sa akin, madali siya i-apply, madali ma-fill in yung lips ko. The coverage is, I would say, medium to buildable. Kasi sa first layer, I would say na para sa inyo na mga light lang mag-makeup, mag-apply ng makeup, okay na yung one layer. But for me na who likes full coverage, especially sa lipsticks kasi I have pigmented lips, I apply two layers, especially dun sa mga light colors. Yung mga dark colors, okay na sa akin ng one layer. This one, I'm wearing sa wallflower. This is two layers. Kasi mag-film ako. Pero actually, kung lalabas lang ako, okay na sa akin yung one layer lang kasi dark shade siya. Yung sa mga lighter shades, mas gusto ko yung two layers kasi mas madaling matanggal sa akin yung one layer lang. Comfortable naman siya. The packaging may look similar to Colourpop. But the formula and yung consistency niya is magkaiba. Dito sa hairline, mas light siya sa lips. Magde-dry ng konti yung lips mo kasi common naman yung sa liquid lipstick. Especially this one is transfer proof. Ayan pala. I-kiss test ko. Back of my hand, i-kiss ko. Ayan. So, I'm really glad wala siyang transfer. Uh, bagong apply, then dry up na siya. Pag nag-kiss proof test ka, wala. As in zero transfer. But once na mag-drink ka ng water or mag-eat ka, pag nag-kiss test ka after nun, magkakaroon na ng konting transfer but very, very minimal lang. Hindi yung major, major na pag gano'n na sa baso mo, nandun na yung lipstick mo, yung buong bakat ng lips mo. Hindi naman gano'n. Ganda yon kasi gano'n yung finish niya and yet hindi siya overly drying sa lips. I know some of you, hindi kaya tagalan yung sa Colourpop Ultra Mats. Ako kaya ko. Kasi mataas ang tolerance ko sa drying lipsticks. But I know that most of you, you find Colourpop Ultra Mats very drying. So, better ito kasi mas hindi siya ganun ka-drying compared dun. Mas comfortable ito. Especially pag one layer lang. Pag naglagay ka ng two layers, dun mafe-feel mo na medyo mas dry ng konti. But very, very tolerable. And also, this will last until you remove it with a makeup remover. Oil-based makeup remover. But what I noticed is at the 5th hour onwards, uh, medyo mas dry na siya ang feeling sa lips. So, ang ma-advise ko sa inyo, very sensitive kayo sa ganon, mag-apply kayo ng lip balm before kayo mag-apply ng liquid lipstick na to. And then, you let it sit for a few seconds, 30 seconds, and then blot out the excess with a dry tissue. So, para hindi sobrang, sobrang mabalm yung lips nyo. Uh, blot the excess and then you apply this. And that way, mas comfortable siya sa lips but hindi maa-alter yung formula niya and yung staying power niya. Hindi ganun pa rin siya. Transfer proof pa rin siya. So, throughout the days, simulan mo na-receive ko siya. Nag-test ako ng iba-ibang shades every day. And then, I took pictures Nung after eating ko, I will put it somewhere here on the screen para makita nyo yung after eating. So, nung ginamit ko yung mga light shades like Gotta Go and Semi Sweet, nung ginamit ko sila, isang layer lang kasi yung nilagay ko sa kanila. So, mas madali silang naalis like I told you. Kasi oily yung mga ulam. So, nagkaroon ng konting-konting natanggal sa inner part ng lips. 
But when I tried them ng two layers, walang natanggal after ko kumain. So, yun nga yung nasasuggest ko. Kung ang gusto nyo ay yung walang maaalis, mag-double layer kayo, especially dun sa light shades. And then, sa tutu, I use just one layer. And ganito yung itsura niya after eating. What else did I use? Oh, the metallics. Ito yung three metallics na meron ako, no? Yung luster, live wire, and prints. I have used luster and live wire. Nung ginamit ko si... I think that was live wire. Oo, na-impress ako kasi kumain pa ako ng... Nakikita nyo, ano, diba, sa pictures, mayroong konting naalis sa inner part ng lips. But that is because after I ate rice and ulam and dessert and drank from the glass, kumain pa ako ng corn. <laughs> Di ba pag kumakain tayo ng corn, so you bite on it. Like that. And sasayad talaga yung lips mo kasi you use your teeth para makuha yung sa corn. Para makakain ka sa corn. Sasayad talaga yung lips mo dun sa corn. Kaya nagkaroon ng konting tanggal. But kung yung rice lang and then ulam and all the other stuff that I ate except for the corn, hindi siya naalis. Based on my experience, mas long-lasting at mas transfer-proof itong melted metallics nila. Also, when I did the arm swatch that I posted on Instagram, nung nagtanggal na ako noon, tinanggal ko na sa arm ko yung lahat ng swatches, pinaka nahirapan akong tanggalin is itong sa melted metallics. Even after ko maligo, I still use an oil-based makeup remover again to remove it kasi hindi siya completely natanggal even if I scrubbed it. I was actually surprised kasi I thought the melted metallics had a satin finish. Diba yung color pop meron din silang metallics and it is only available sa satin finish. So, believe din ako sa Careline kasi nakagawa sila ng metallics na merong matte finish. So, what I also love with this range is the color selection. Nakakatuwa guys, no? Kasi siguro dahil sa sobrang tagal na ni Everbelena sa industriyang ito, sa makeup industry, kabisadong kabisado na nila kung ano yung mga shades na gustong gusto nating mga Pinay. Masasabi ko, ang galing nilang mamili ng shade range. Pansin niyo yung Everbelena, EV Advance, itong Careline. Ang gaganda lagi ng mga shades. If you have seen my EV Advance LTD swatch and review video, sinabi ko doon na hindi ako makapili ng favorite shades ko. And usually, di ba, pag may swatch video ako, I always tell you which ones are my favorites. And yun, nahirapan ako. This one then actually, nahirapan din ako mamili kasi maganda silang lahat. But I would have to say that my most, most favorites, kasi actually, hindi ko pa naman sila nagamit lahat ng ganun kadalas kasi I just received this a week ago. So, hindi pa ako nakapag-experiment, no? Pero gusto ko si Semi Sweet. Dito, na-surprise ako kay Semi Sweet kasi from the bottle, from this container, medyo light siya tignan, di ba? And I thought that I will look washed out on this. But, when I put it on, I didn't look washed out. Ang ganda niyang nude. Tawin ko, ang ganda niya sa akin. <laughs> Nabagayan ako sa sarili ko sa kanya. It is a peachy nude, but mas marami yung peach tones niya. Which is very complimenting on my skin tone. I am medium skin tone, by the way. And I have a neutral undertone. Sa mga katulad ko ng skin tone, huwag kayo matakot kay Semi Sweet. Hindi siya sobrang light. Maganda siya. I like Tutu. Kay Tutu, maraming may favorite sa inyo. Doon sa Instagram posts ko, maraming nag-comment na you like this. And yes, I like it too. Maganda yung shade niya. And then, Normcore. This was a surprise to me. Kasi hindi ko siya masyadong napansin nung tinignan ko yung buong range. Pero, it is a good ML baby. My lips but better shade. Medyo grayish. May grayish tone siya eh. Nude na may grayish tone. Um, by the way, each shade has a description, official description from Careline. I will put it in the description box below sa katabi ng mga shade. And then also, I like Gotta Go. This is the first one that I've tried sa buong line. And I instantly liked it. Ito yung nude na yellowish siya, hindi siya pinkish. Konti lang kasi yung ganun ko. This is one of the few I own na ganun shade. Usually kasi I go for pinky nudes. Kaya I find this unique and I like it. Metallics naman, I liked luster. Nga pala ito, yung metallics nila, pakita ko sa inyo. Ganun din yung doe foot applicator niya dun sa normal na applicator. And same lang sila ng smell. Na faint na lipstick smell. 
na medyo chemically scent. Wala siyang fragrance, wala siyang ganun. I think that's also a plus for those of you who are very sensitive sa smell. And also, pag may fragrance, may additional na ibang ingredient yun, di ba? Medyo nagulat lang ako. Actually, 210 pesos is very affordable para sa atin naman, di ba? Hindi naman siya sobrang mahal. Pero medyo nagulat lang ako kasi Careline, lagpas 200 is medyo mataas na na price yun kasi usually 100 plus or below 100 yung price range ng Careline, di ba? But maybe due to their makeover ng brand, that's why, well, marami naman siya eh. 5.5 ml is a good amount of liquid lipstick and also the packaging does not look cheap at all. Even yung box, yung unicarton niya is maganda rin yung quality. So, level up si Careline guys in my opinion. So, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed my swatch and review video. You can also follow me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is Sleepy Eve. And also, nandito na rin lang kayo sa YouTube ko. Mag-subscribe na din kayo. Wala na akong mawawala, diba? And also, click the bell icon para ma-notify kayo pag meron akong mga bagong videos. Um, I had fun doing this video. I hope you had fun watching too. And I'll see you on my next time. Bye!